That's right. The coroner's van just passed us en route to the medical examiner's office, which will perform the autopsy. You see the car there being followed by friends and family members, LAPD officials, fellow officers, detectives. It is a very long procession, as is customary when an officer loses his life, whether he is off duty or not. Our eye in the sky, Sky Fox above. We have LA County Fire here honoring a fallen police officer and a very long line of LAPD officers along with LA County Sheriff deputies here, all of them part of that procession honoring this young officer who lost his life yesterday in what appears to have been an attempted robbery or possibly a carjacking that is under investigation. We know he was with his girlfriend at about 9.20 in the, in the evening. They were looking at a piece of property, what appeared to be a house for sale that they were interested in when suddenly they were confronted by three suspects, at least one of them armed, that suspect shooting the off-duty officer. We know the off-duty officer managed to pull out his gun and also shoot back. And shortly after that, not too far away, a man was found with gunshot wounds. Police investigating now to see if possibly that shooting victim is related to the shooting of the officer. Possibly that man is one of the suspects involved in the murder of the officer. And as officers everywhere will tell you, you know, you say off duty, but a police officer is almost always, always on duty. If they see a crime being committed, if they see something, they usually jump right into action. In this case, the officer was the victim himself. And that is the procession, Sky Fox above following this procession to the medical examiner's office and we're going to go up to Stu Mundell in Sky Fox. Stu? Well, Gigi, like you said, we're watching a very solid moment out here. This, uh, the procession making its way on Imperial Highway. We understand it's going to be heading over to the 710, then the 710 north, up into the downtown Los Angeles area. Again, though, the procession, as you said, very, very long right now. We're moving Sky Fox to get a better shot. Justin, our cameraman this morning, is going to kind of, right there is the, the head of it, but if you widen out the shot and tilt back, you see a large number of other officers from LAPD. Also, as Gigi mentioned, many first responders out here today, uh, LA County firefighters, and then, of course, LA City firefighters. We've been hearing them setting up on the route to the coroner's office in the Los Angeles area. But right now, it's starting to make its way onto the 710 as this officer makes its trip, makes his trip over to uh, the county coroner's office in Los Angeles. Gigi? And Stu, uh, we have the officer's name, but uh, of course we're not going to release it until the LAPD does, and that is because they were still notifying his family members of what happened. So we will have that for you a little bit later. Chief Michael Moore referred to him as a young officer, a great loss to the police department. Uh, we know he was a police officer too. He had been on the force for several years already. And again, a victim of a rising crime rate that we are seeing in the city of Los Angeles. Three suspects surrounding this young officer and his girlfriend at gunpoint, apparently to either rob them of their belongings or to steal the car that they were in. The officer pulled out his gun, suspects shot him, and then took off. Part of this investigation is a shooting victim, a man that was found shortly after the officer was shot, and they're trying to determine, homicide detectives or the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, because it happened in the county part of, the, of Los Angeles, they're trying to determine if that's possibly a suspect. So you are looking line, if you're just joining us here on Good Day L.A., this is the procession for an off-duty LAPD officer shot and killed yesterday during a crime. Three suspects. The manhunt is on for them. Witnesses are being interviewed. A very active crime scene where the shooting happened tonight as homicide detectives with the L.A. County Sheriff's Department continue their investigation looking for any evidence. Now, important to note, the shooter or one of the suspects left behind a gun at the scene. LAPD now, L.A. County Sheriffs have that gun. Of course, that hopefully will provide a clue to the identity 
identity of the shooters. You are watching live inside that white coroner's van, the flag draped casket of that young officer. Reporting live, I'm Gigi Graciette with Stu Mandel in Sky Fox. We'll send it back to you. And Gigi, as we continue to, to watch this, this very sad uh, procession, obviously it, it, it is something uh, that, that we know is customary whenever you have a, a fallen officer like this and, and you always have you know, other first responders who take part in this very somber profession and often uh, with a fallen officer, particularly when the funeral is, is held, uh, you will have law enforcement officers from all over the region, sometimes from all over the nation, coming out uh, in support of the family and to, and to pay their last respects. Now, you did mention, of course, that, that the body is being uh, taken to the medical examiner's office and typically what happens in situations like this and perhaps you can expound on it a little bit more is that uh, the medical examiner will then confirm the cause of death but we think we know what the cause of death was here is that correct that's correct. The medical examiner will perform an autopsy on the body of that officer to determine exactly, officially, what the cause of death is and make a ruling. You know, they decide, was it a natural death? Was it a homicide? In this case, it's pretty clear that this will be ruled a homicide uh, as he was shot in the commission of a crime. And this really hits home with a lot of people because he was off duty. He didn't die in the line of duty. And I was speaking to one of the detectives handling the case earlier, and they told me that right now the working theory is he may have pulled out his weapon because he was trying to defend his girlfriend. She was also with him. They had stopped to look at a piece of property, something a lot of people out there can relate to. You get out of your car, you look at a house for sale, and that's what they were doing when they were confronted by these suspects, at least one, possibly two, armed with guns. One of those guns left at the scene, and of course that will be used in this case that an important piece hopefully of evidence you know you tell the story you paint the picture and you think to yourself uh, this young officer with his girlfriend mm. they stopped to look at property they were maybe thinking of starting their life together mm. uh, a new chapter and and it came to a sudden and senseless end it's just so tragic and and so relatable you know there is like you said no no such thing as being off duty mm -hmm. really and mm -hmm. there's no such thing as uh, police officers often tell you there's no such thing as a routine traffic stop because they just never know what they will encounter any day of the week. That's right, and it's very possible that that officer had his badge with him inside his wallet. A lot of police officers carry two wallets just in case they're ever robbed. They can hand over one wallet with maybe credit cards and cash, but in the other wallet they have their police identification just because it is so dangerous. If they're being robbed and they hand over a wallet to show they're a police officer, uh, chances are things are going to go south very quickly. So unclear exactly what happened yesterday a key witness in all of this tragically is his girlfriend who witnessed all of this and she's going to be a key witness and homicide detectives have been you know respectfully waiting for her to to be here at the hospital with the body of her boyfriend and they're going to interview her and hopefully she can provide some information uh, this procession is now on the 710 freeway northbound on its way to the coroner's uh, office, the medical examiner's office, where uh, the official cause of death will eventually be released along at, at, at that time, probably uh, with the officer's name once, uh, once the family has been uh, notified and every member of the, of the slain officer's uh, family uh, is told what has happened. Gigi, uh, you've covered th these kinds of stories, sadly, uh, many times before and it, it, it it's it's always the same it, it never gets any easier no, it doesn't, especially we don't know how old the officer is, possibly still in his 20s. We're awaiting that to be released, but especially when it's a young life lost. And, and in this case, so innocently, just off duty, doing something with his girlfriend, uh, out looking at, at a piece of property. I think, again, it's something we can all relate to. Uh, not a line of duty death, but, uh, you know, if he was indeed defending his girlfriend, uh, it may be considered a 
day duty death. That will be determined by the LAPD. Now, the LAPD is investigating, but this actually happened in the county. So LA County Sheriff's Department homicide detectives are working that part of the story. And also LAPD's uh, force investigation division, they'll be looking at it because the officer's gun was used. Unclear if it was his duty weapon or a personal gun that he carried with him. But, you know, that will all be part of this long investigation. And it, it's important to note that uh, they are hoping that witnesses may come forward. It was 920 last night on 87th and Beach. And if you were in that area, if you saw something, it was initially reported the suspects took off in a black truck, possibly a black pickup truck. Please call the sheriff's department. They would really like to hear with you. And no piece of information is too small. It might provide the information that they need to find a killer. And again, if you're just joining us now live on Good Day LA, you are looking at the very long procession of LAPD officers accompanied by their fellow deputies from the LA County Sheriff's Department and our first responders with the LA County Fire Department. They are accompanying the body of an off-duty LAPD officer shot and killed yesterday while apparently being robbed. And inside that white medical examiner's va van is his casket. It is draped with an American flag. It was a very somber and sad moment, uh, just a moment of silent silence here at the hospital when his body was brought out and put into that coroner's van. Tony and Aroxia. You know, it's going to take a while to figure out exactly what happened. As you said, they're still looking for witnesses, still mm -hmm. trying to piece that puzzle together as far as who was that second victim that was found with gunshot wounds not far from the scene after this officer was shot and killed. Uh, perhaps one of the suspects, because we do understand that both the suspect and the officer did uh, fire some shots. But the one person who, who knows exactly how this played out is this officer's girlfriend, the fallen officer's girlfriend, who as we can all imagine, is so shaken oh. up. And mm. it's going to take a while to um, to get the story from her. But, uh, you know, this is why these investigations can take some time. That's right. And it's also part of the story is that when L.A. County Sheriff deputies responded to 911 calls of a shooting, when they arrived on the scene, they found the off-duty officer. Unclear if they actually knew he was a police officer, but he was in such critical condition. They loaded them, him up into their patrol car and lights and siren rushed him here to St. Francis, where sadly doctors could not save him and he was pronounced dead. The sheriff's department has been known to do that when they find extremely critical patients or possibly a child. They just scoop them up, put them in the patrol car and rush them straight to the hospital trying to save some time and not wait for an ambulance. And that's exactly what happened here. Those officers, those deputies trying to save a, a fellow officer, unclear if they even knew that he was an off-duty police officer. All right, Gigi, I uh, uh, appreciate uh, your report. We're going to take a short break here. And we'll be back right after this.